That one I've just built, I'm not going to keep because I don't need it. So we'll give that one away. You are. I'm going to give it away, kid. The other day, I built a rod rack and I put it all over Instagram and you guys loved it. And you was asking me about all the dimensions and all the sizes and how did you make this, what did you use. So, I'm going to show you. This is a rod rack building video. So to start with, inventory, this is what you need. A tape measure, you're going to need a screwdriver, power drill. You're going to need some 40 mil screws, 18 of them. You're going to need five pieces of wood at 1220 by 95 mil. You're gonna need some sandpaper, we're gonna need a jigsaw, we're gonna need a little circle thing to draw around, and then some paint and spray paint if that's how far you go. The first thing we're gonna do is gonna grab our pencil and our tape measure, grab two pieces of wood, and these are gonna be our curved sections for the rod holders, right? So. The pencil wasn't in the inventory. Well, if you ain't got a pencil, you've got no business making this rod holder. It's a pink one. It's my daughter's pencil. Anyway, first thing we're going to do... Have you got to put it behind your ear like that? Yeah, put Car the pencil behind your ear. Right. <laughs> Shut the front door <laughs> while I measure this. Right, so... We're going to get our two pieces of wood and we're going to mark in 48 mil from each end. Forty-eight mil from each end, and that is because simply these pieces of wood are twelve twenty long, and with my something to draw around, which is fifty-eight mil, it fits nineteen of those in as long as I put forty-eight point five on the ends. All right, so forty-eight mil on each end. Next thing we're going to do is going to draw a line right away down the middle of it. And for that you need a straight edge, but for that purpose I'm using one of my pieces of wood. Right then, now that we've got uh, 48 mil at each end, or your stopper if you're using a different size of wood, uh, different size piece of wood, doesn't matter if you want to make it longer, fit more rod holders in or shorter for that matter. So we've got our uh, 48 mil at each end and our line down the middle. Now I've squiggled off the side I'm not going to use for each piece of wood. And now I'm going to go down the wood and draw my half circles with 10 mil in between. So what you got to do, you got to get the 10 mil with the 24 mil, and the 40 mil, and the 6 mil, and then the 7 mil. Isn't that right, Sean? If you're like you, 7 mil, and you haven't got a Scooby Doo about which end of a pencil is the end of a pencil, <laughs> I'd just be like, oh no, nah, just do it by eye, do it by eye, kid. Who <laughs> would be sweet? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm sure, right? There are better ways. I'm sure someone will let you know in the comments <laughs> I'm if sure there is. They will. Go, actually, mate. What you want to do? You want to get the 6-4 pals? Get the fly wipes and then put it up in the sky. I mean, I think my, my dad's got some in this shed, you know, like them hole cutters. Yeah. That might be a better idea, but then I don't like the thought of cutting it while there's holes in it. But anyway, you do it how you want to do it. This is how I'm doing it. And if you're a noob like Tom, and you haven't got a Scooby-Doo, then maybe follow my example. Right then, so the next thing to do is actually cut our grooves out with the jigsaw, but first, what we're gonna do is cut that down the middle of each one with a brand new saw. Look at Tom, brought a new saw daily from the shop. Oh, it's nice, man. So come check out the, like, the fine people. Yeah, anyway. Uh... Oh, yo, yo. Warm. It's kind of warm in his brain. All right then. So now you've cut that, those two pieces of wood down the middle, we're just left with what is going to be our rod curve section. And we've got two of these. One for the top, one for the bottom. One facing inward, one facing outward. 
All that's left to do now is cut these out with a jigsaw. Everything I'm doing, I'm putting in the description. So don't worry about rewinding back. Just go down to the description and have a look at the step-by-step -step instructions. Step-by-step -step guide, Bob Snack <laughs> Step-by-step -step guide, all right. Right get then. the power tool. Let's get these uh, curved holes cut out then. They, they ain't gotta be perfect. Whew. All right then. Now that that's all cut out, the next thing to do, because it looks a bit of a mess and it's got a lot of sharp edges, bits of wood on it, sand it. Carpenter enough. Sanded. Sanded. Done. So now that our curved pieces are roughly sanded, uh, we'll give them a proper finish off later when everything's assembled. We'll put them to one side. Assemble! I can't hear anything but Avengers now. Assemble! It. Right. We've got another piece of wood that I've already cut. Well, I haven't cut it because it came at this size, but it is 1220 by 95. That is our bottom tilting slat. Okay, so it sits on the bottom of our rack tilting like that. So that's already sorted. If you haven't already sorted that, cut that at 1220 by 95. And then we've got time to cut our sides, which we're going to cut at 1020. 1020 millimetres. Oh yeah, I'd done that right. since I was in woodwork when I was in Warsaw College. You never College. did woodwork. What are you on about? I did. Oh, you did? Yeah, I did. Did you read it? Yeah, I carved like well, a... Can't you read a tape measure then? I can't remember what I carved. Do you remember the Welsh geezer at school? Door sit in the corner, lad. That's all Mr. He Richards. Say to you. <laughs> he did, yeah. He did. Want a top tip? When you've measured it, right, before you cut it, just measure it again. You can measure twice, but you can only cut once. No, you just do it by eye. So, uh, so the pros do oh, it. Yeah, it's about right. About right. <laughs> now that that's done. Get God, can you just put it together already? Get rid of them little edges, alright. Mate, I'm gonna tr gotta treat this with a bit of TLC because I'll tell you why at the end of the video. Alright. <laughs> right. Are we assembling yet? Yes, we are assembling. 100 mil from the top. That's gonna be our top, right? Both sides. 100 mil from the top, and at the back of the rod holder, I'm gonna mark 100 mil down. That is where our top curved rod holder is going to sit. Then I'm going to go to the bottom of the slat, right, and measure 265 millimetres up, but towards the front of the slat. And I'm going to do the same for each one. If I do that, 100 mil down from the top towards the back, 265 mil up from the front towards the front, sorry. There's me two sides. I don't like snack bro anymore. I used to like you when they used to go fish on the canals instead of the. They don't fish anymore, they cure catch fish. They cure. When's the last time you caught a perch or? Uh caught a perch? What's one of them? Caught a perch? What's going on here then mate? Right then Thomas. For this bit, we need our pilot hole drill. Oh yeah, the pilot hole. Pilot I thought hole you drill. would need that one, yeah. Yeah. And a screwdriver drill. Yeah. And some screws. Where you put me screws? I I touched them. All right, bro. Now you might have somewhere better to do this at home, but I find it better to do it on the floor because I want my top curved rod holder to go to the back of our side here. Okay. And then I'm gonna pilot hole through. Two holes ready. Make sure I'm still lined up. I can get two screws in this. Now I'm going to do the same on the other side. Two screws. The pilot hole drill. It's all coming together now, eh? It is, our kid. Screwed in. Screwed in, kid. Now okay. it's time to get our bottom curved rod holder. 
which faces that way, but is to the front of the... Ah, so it's the other way. You know what I mean, kid? Well, I'll tell you what, there's some engineering going on here, isn't there? Turn it off, kid, turn it off. I'm going to turn it around. So I've got the floor. This floor is as wobbly as Mate, you were on your 30th. Mate, this shed, right. It's wobblier than me on my 30th, you're right. Yeah, right. then. Nearly done. Nearly done indeed. Now that we've got the curved rod holders in place, right? Yeah. All we need is our bottom tilted slat. Okay. Which shall sit there like that. Now I'm going to fix that in place. Follow me down here. Follow me down here. Right. I'm going to measure up from the back. Right. 100 mil. And then I'm going to measure up from the front, 40 mil. Okay? Yep. There's our 100 mil line, there's our 40 mil line. All I'm going to do is bring the point to this wood to meet at each one. It'll be bang on. Sound? All right. Get the pilot in, do you want your drill? I do, I. There's your pilot. So, kid. Thing to do is go get a rod and test it to see if you're not a noob or not. Oh, it's a moment of truth. It is art. Don't need to say any words, just. So there it is. All that's left to do now is I'm going to fix, you know that piece of wood that we chopped off earlier, you say, I told you to Oh, save. yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to fix that in there. As a little backrest. As a little, well, the reason I put mine in is so that we can fix it to the wall. Right, okay. Otherwise, you know, what we're going to fix it to, you know what I mean? Ah. Uh -huh. And you can stick that wherever the bloody hell you like. So now that it's all assembled, all we've got to do is spruce it up a bit. The one that I built before, I didn't bother painting it or anything like that, but I popped to the shop this morning and grabbed some Wix paint and some spray paint. And we're gonna spruce this one up a bit. So we're gonna paint it with black wood paint and then give it a little bit of a snag bro effect with some white spray paint afterwards. Right then, let's go leave it outside in the sun to dry. That was quick. Rapid. Neil Rapid. Buchanan style heart attack, mate. I had one here early. Here's one I made earlier. Right, now that it's been sanded like a ninja, been painted, and it's dry, let's add a final little touch to the end of it. Oh, yeah. Final little touch, right? I reckon it needs a snag bro sticker on that side and on that side. Right, okay, okay. It's like one this side. Yeah. The original snag bro stickers. Let me put one on so I feel like I've done something. Go on then. Don't get paint on your hand. See how straight my one is? How not straight your one is. It's authentic, bro. Yeah. It's authentic when you put it on. So you've got two rod holders now? I have got two rod holders now. But I ain't gonna keep that one we've just built. Or the one that Whoa. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that one I've just built. I'm not going to keep because I don't need it, so we'll give that one away. You are. I'm going to give it away, kid. Right. The so one that I've specially painted and sanded down to perfection, I'm giving away. 
How do people get it? They're going to have to go on to the Snag Bro, the official Snag Bro Instagram. The official one? The official one. Not okay. the TSB Snag Bro or the Sean Snag Bro. The official Snag Bro, at Snag Bro. Right? Yeah. You're going to have to comment on this photograph. This post. That one right there? This one. This one. Okay. Okay. That um, post, you're going to have to comment. And make sure you're following as well, because we'll know if in you fact, are following. In fact, let me refine that. You've got to co comment on that post. You've got to make sure you're following, and you've got to tag a friend. Tag a fr <laughs> That's your comment. Tag a friend. All right. All right. And you can't tag me or Sean either. Yeah, no. Because I've seen people do yeah. that before. We're not going to ship it anywhere, but we'll drop it locally. So if you're anywhere in the West Midlands... We'll drop it to you. Or so. if you're proper desperate, you come to us and we'll, <laughs> yeah. we'll yeah. meet you at a safe location. Yeah. So you don't kidnap yeah. Sean and yeah. take him forever. Because so, I need me fishing buddy, all right? Yeah. Yeah. So we've got to make sure it's sort of local or we meet somewhere local. And it's all yours. Go. Comment on the post. Awesome. All right, then. That's it. Jobs are good, mate. Yeah. Thanks for your help. No worries. I'm gonna fucking piss day, gotta tell you. Oh, I'm finished. <laughs>